What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl, Isabella Terra Tarot, back at it again. I, I mean, I've had distraction after distraction after distraction in trying to put this message out for you guys. Like, mm, mm, mm. I feel like it's about to be some mess, okay? So, I literally pushed the record button, and the second that I pushed the record button, I got a phone call. I just random phone call, spam risk, okay? Spam risk phone call. So, this, and then your song, let me go ahead and say, your song was Bang by AJR. I have never heard this song before, but, you know, what I'm hearing is we're, we'll, we'll go out with a bang. We'll go bang. We're, like, go out with a bang. Spam risk phone call. Like, there's going to be some kind of um, communication go on in the month of June that is, you know, I feel like it's going to be some drama. The fact that that's on the bottom of the deck after I finish saying that. There's going to be some drama go on. Um, communication. Communication. Drama that's going to cause you possibly to, you know, some anxiety in the month of June. Like, <sighs> communication coming from left field. Spam risk. Some communication that... It may just be, you know, somebody trying to be messy or somebody trying to, you know, look, tower, Ju uh, tower, nine of swords, before anything even gets going, Scorpio, like, somebody's trying to, trying to, to start some mess, trying, there's going to be some communication go on that's going to kind of have, it's going to be a shake up, there's going to be some, some shake up go on for you in regards to communication for the month of June for Scorpio, um, and it's gonna it's gonna catch you off guard. It's gonna catch you off guard. And I keep and it keeps coming up on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so some competition going on. Some um, some ego clashing is really what I'm getting for the month of June. Someone wanting the upper hand. Somebody like fighting for the upper hand in the month of June. Okay, well, let's get into this since it's clearly given us our message before we even pull any damn cards. All right, so let's see where your energy is going to be. We're going to start with the energy. Energy for the Scorpio for the month of June, please. three and nine you know what's funny i had attempted to do this reading um i had attempted to do this reading like before and then i kept getting interruptions people coming through wanting to talk to me coming th like every time i would start the reading somebody would walk through the door and like be trying to talk to me and the main numbers were three and nine so i feel like you know those are going to be very significant numbers for you whether it be three 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 or um, 33 or 999 or 9. Um, I feel like 3 and 9 are very significant numbers for you um, during the month of June. And like regarding wish fulfillment, you know, closing out cycles, um, the end of a cycle, you know, possibly having to tie up loose ends. Um, possibly in regard, like I knew it kept saying partnerships, agreements, and you know, everybody. <coughs> coming to, you know, green, like, focusing on your, look, yellow is significant in this one, too, your willpower, willpower, solar, solar plexus, solar plexus, and your heart chakra, something that's close to home, um, whether this actually be regarding children, regarding, you know, house and home, um, partnerships, agreements, for you to get wish fulfillment and everything you're wanting, they're calling you to take some time out, um, a, a withdraw emotionally, um, you're going to have to act without emotions, like, you're going to have to keep your emotions in check for the month of June in order for you to come into wish fulfillment, um, but I feel like you are, the, the energy is restraint restraint is your energy for the month of june having to be able to 
it's like knowing exactly what it is that you want, but being able to, well, oh my goodness. And this was the card. And I'm like, I don't know where that one came from. It wasn't even in the right deck. This was the card. This was the three. So you're going to have a reason to rejoice and celebrate in the month of June. But you have to be able to, you know, have a hand on your emotions. Being able to, you know, keep that under control in order for you to to get to the point of celebration. 33. 33. Came up again. Can't believe that. Okay. So, anyways, um, let's get into the message. What's going to be going on for the Scorpio in the month of June? Sun card. Partnerships, second chances, action, family, house, and home, inheritance possibly, and it, once again, it's back. We back at it. All right, so, Scorpio. What's going to be going on for the Scorpio for the month of June? Somebody from your past is wanting a second chance or might be possibly um, traveling in order to get that second chance. I feel like there's a lot of emotional turbulence be behind this person who's trying to come back into your life. This may possibly be a child's parent, um, an ex of yours who is trying to make a resurgence back into your life and i feel like they're like it's definitely there's a lot of travel going on here like you may be traveling to somebody or somebody may be traveling to you um i really am getting the feeling that this is family related in the month of june like and it may be around a, a son or a child i'm really getting you know a little boy it's like the sun, happy card, happy omen. Um, trying to surround your child with light. And, you know, I feel like you're protected. Your child's protected. You're protected in this situation. But something's coming really fast and it's coming from far off. And it's like somebody who's wanting a second chance or wanting to research, make a resurgence back into the equation. And I feel like it's like causing you sleepless nights emotional like anxiety like anxiety i feel like you probably you probably even felt that this was coming for a while um but look eight 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 threes nines and eights eights is a mo like abundance so okay so you felt like that. I feel like you've like in your mind's eye, you've known, or in your into your intuition's been telling you that this is was going to come for a while, or that it was on its way to you. And June is when it's finally here. Um, something that you're going to have to deal with in regards to a child. Is that another little boy? Probably a little boy in the back of this, like inheritance. Somebody in from your past is coming back, possibly your child's, you know, mother or a mother coming back or a father coming back into the situation or trying to. Um, I think they're wanting you to be aware, like, be, try to remain positive in the situation because you are protected. Um, with this, like, I feel like this horse is like a spirit animal, spirit animal, um, protecting the child, you know. Like the child is sitting here like vulnerable as hell, but the the but but look, vulnerable as hell because he's like this naked child is vulnerable, but this horse is like the spirit guide protecting the child. Um, but anyway, somebody is coming back from the past and wanting to um, start something new with you or is wanting to come back into the picture in some way. And they're wanting you to be aware of it. All right. What's going on with the Scorpio's finances for the month of June? Somebody might be coming and offering you um, a new position or new beginning or... This is growth. Financial growth. Um... 
an opportunity being gifted to you in the month of June. Look, another ace. Clarity in the past in regards to your place of employment or work. Oh my goodness. We just pulled three aces. Ace of wands. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunities. And there's nowhere to go but up. The only person standing in your way is you is really what I'm getting. I feel like, okay. So, in regards to, you know, your finances and career, I'm really getting that um, what's not seen is this is, a, is this is a good, this is good for you. This is a good partnership. Um, but that Ace of Pentacles, like, it, it's something that's been given to you. Everything has been given to you. It's like you've had clarity. You've had the thoughts in the past. You know, I feel like it came to you, but you probably shoved it away. Like, you didn't really want to see it. And then the Ace of Wands is being offered. It's like keeps being offered to you. It's like they're wanting you to, t like your spirits are like kind of pushing you to take it. Take the opportunity. But I feel like you just didn't, I feel like you probably didn't want to start from ground zero. Or you feel like you're starting from ground zero. But... You need to balance your solar plexus in order to, you know, thrive in this business or whatever this is that you are doing financial, like your career, whatever this is in regards to your career. Um, they're wanting you to actually put in work, put in action, accept the abundance that is coming with this partnership. Um, balance your emotions. Get like you're already you already know what it is that you were meant to do what you're supposed to be doing do it Like they're saying do it like I must feel like you've probably been being beat over the head with this as, You know to the point where you're like your spirits are getting a little um, Annoyed is really what I'm feeling getting annoyed with the fact that you aren't um, Exercising this opportunity that they've been constantly that they've, they've kept trying to kind of wave in your face um it's something that is going to be very prosperous very abundant like it's got the ability to grow it's like yes you're you're going to have to start from the ground zero groundwork and build up but they're telling you that it's it's definitely worth it and of course i'm getting the phone call right now again it's still recording my Look, let me hit you with your last message because, you know, phone calls. Like, I feel like y'all are going to be getting some phone calls. Look, because I'm getting it in regards to finances and career and growth. You're going to, it's going to be dealing with some form of communication. And it's, I feel like it's going to be a good thing. Okay? What's going on with the Scorpio's relationship? That's way too many. Come on now. Relationship. <laughs> you might be... Dropping something for something else. Mm, these two. Relationship. Will of fortune. Possibly moving. That king of swords feels like very stern energy. Like... What's going on in regards to relationship? Overflowing of emotions and communication. What's not seen is communication behind the scenes. Um, justice. What's going on with Scorpio in regards to relationships? You might have possibly had a family with this person in the past. They're coming back. Um, and I feel like, like, the cup is overflowing. They're going to be overflowing with emotions in some kind of conversation that's going to take place between the two of you. It's like they're going to be very stern in what they want and what they expect and wanting to push things forward with you, um, in order to regain what you, what, what was once, once you, what you once had. And I feel like they're not really taking no for an answer. Ooh, that's a very, ugh, aggressive. The map master of destiny. Authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. Let's see. Where am I getting from this? Hmm. 
the map, map, the map maker of destiny. What I'm really getting from this picture, the map maker of destiny, I really feel like this is somebody who has like, they've had their eye on you, they might have possibly been spying on you, you know, from a distance and like keeping record, they've been keeping record. Um, it's a very smart individual, but they've, you know, they've been keeping record and wanting to push things forward with you and I feel like if they there's going to be some kind of communication that goes on between the two of you in regards to this relationship this family um, partnership but I feel like it's going to end up in some kind of legal dispute um, once again having to have balance but I don't really feel like this person is going to back down it's like they're going to try to they're going to try to communicate with you but I feel like they want balance to a situation. They want balance to a situation in regards to this family, this this partnership, this marriage or union. Like somebody's coming in very harsh, with very harsh energy. The whis the spirit whisper, divine guidance, higher knowing. And I'm also getting green. Green with envy is what I'm getting from this. And it's not what it says, but it's like I'm getting green with envy and I'm getting spying from these two cards. So I feel like somebody has, you know, probably been watching your accomplishments. Like, that's really what I'm getting. Somebody's been watching your accomplishments or, you, you know, this could be vice versa. Watching your accomplishments, trying to pull back their emotions and act like they don't care and that they don't see it. But actually, there's going to be a serious outpouring of emotions in June, um, probably in a text or a phone call, some kind of communication, some kind of conversation that's going to go down. And whatever this conversation is going to go down is going to influence some kind of legal situation in the future. So I feel like they're wanting you to remain calm, remain focused on what it is that you're actually wanting to manifest and to, you know, speak tactfully. Watch what you say. Don't, um, don't be overly emotional and realize that you are protected in the situation. Your like, guides are protecting you in the situation, but the person that you're dealing with might be a, like a messy individual, um, but they're envious of what you have. They've been watching what you have, they've been watching your growth, and they're jealous. They're really jealous. It's like this person that's wanting a second chance is they're just they're jealous so you have to watch how you're communicating with them and how you're addressing them but there's going to be a serious outpouring of emotions and it's going to feel kind of like not violent not violent just very assertive like this person is a very assertive individual and they speak when they speak they have a very assertive energy okay and they are they're gonna, there's gonna be an outpouring of emotions in regards to whatever it is that you had or could have. And whatever this is, it's gonna like, whatever this conversation that goes down, this communication, it's going to influence your future in some kind of legal situation with this person. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna leave, uh, leave you guys with. Um, Feel free to leave me comments. Let me know what's going on. Like, share, subscribe. Um, if you're needing a personal, feel free to reach out. My email is isabellaterratarot at gmail.com. Um, check me out on Etsy. My Etsy page. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.